Okay, my name is Mark Dame here at Davis Technical College. We're going to do a little synopsis on lathe programming. I have a blueprint here that you'll be able to see. It's basically a blueprint that goes three inches, two and a half inches, one and a half inch with some radiuses on it. And each cut is about one inch in depth. So this is the part we're gonna make and we're gonna write the program for this. So to start off, we'll kind of draw our part here. Comes across, then has a radius comes down, comes over, has another radius, comes down, goes over, has another radius, goes down. Now this line right here is the center of the part. So the distance from here to the other side or the diameter of that is gonna be inch and a half, two and a half, three inches. One inch equally spaced on that. So, First thing we want to do is we'll have our part in our chuck. We'll, we're going to call this point right here, zero, zero. So when we start writing our program, the very first thing we're going to do is right here, we'll just put a percent symbol for the starting of our program. We got to give our program a number. In this particular case, we'll call it 01. This is the letter O and the number one. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna call up or send it to make sure before we change the tool on a CNC lathe, you wanna make sure that the turret, which holds all the tools, is away from the chuck so we don't damage it. To do that, we're gonna put in a G28, U0, W0. The U and W is for X and Z as an incremental mode. And then G28 sends it home. So basically it's gonna send it to machine home. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna call up our tool. In this particular case, the tool we're gonna to use is a DNMG. So this calls up the tool. There's not an MO6 like you would see in a milling operation. This just calls up the first two numbers represent the station number and the last two numbers tell it the radius and the orientation of the tool. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tell our machine that we don't wanna go over certain RPM when it's spinning. That's a G50. And we don't want the spindle, the speed, let's say, to go over 2000 RPM. Next thing we wanna do is a constant surface seed. So as we're cutting this, we want to make sure that as the diameter gets smaller, the spindle speed will actually increase. And that's a G96. And we're gonna run this at a surface speed of 550 RPM. And then we want the spindle to turn clockwise. So that's an M, M03. Okay. So now that we've turned on the spindle, we've called off the tools, it knows it's, it knows it's offset. Now we can go to our part. Where this is zero, zero, we wanna actually start right up here. This is gonna where we're gonna start and it's gonna rough it out. So this is our start point. I'll put, just put SP for start point. Then this is our first point right here and then we'll go all the way over to our last point, which is point number two number one to number two. So our start point goes down, goes over to point number two. So let's go. This material is just a little bit bigger than three inches. So we're gonna wrap it with the geo to X of, let's say 3.1 and Z of 0.1. So now what's gonna happen is the turret is gonna wrap it to this location right here, being 3.1 and 100 thousandths in front of Z. Then what we're gonna get into is a can cycle. 
Now the can cycle, there's two forms of can cycles. There's a G71 and a one line format and a G72 and a two line format. Depending, some machines will, will only take the two line, some machines will only take the one line. So you gotta know your machine. In our particular case, our machine takes a two line format. So we're gonna put a G71. The next thing on that is we're gonna put the depth of cut. U is for X, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take off, let's say a hundred thousandths at a time, which would be a hundred off the radius, 200 off the diameter. And I wanna retract. When it gets through cutting, retracts, let's say 0 0.05. And then we'll put another G71. We're gonna put a P1 and a Q2. With those start, that's our, the P1 and the Q2 is this point right here and this point right here. And it reads it, it basically looks at our whole sequence of operation and basically we'll start roughing out using this information here from P1 and Q2. We'll get into this a little bit more later on. I wanna leave something for a finish pass. So in this case, I wanna let's say in the X value, I wanna leave eight thousandths. On the Z, I wanna leave let's say three thousandths. And I wanna rough it out, my feed rate, it's not inches per minute like you see on the mill, but it's inches per revolution. We're gonna rough it out at 15 thousandths per revolution for roughing. And then we'll have a finish of about four thousandths. Now the next thing we wanna do is basically tell it where this point is and go up to that point. And we're gonna say this point here is N1. So N1, when it reads, P1, it's gonna look for an N1. So now that we found it, we're gonna wrap it with a GO to an X of zero. So from our tool right here, it's gonna wrap it down to this point right here. And this N, N1 refers to the P1, or the P1 is gonna look for this N1. The next line, we're gonna put in uh, we don't have to put any more ends. You could if you want to, but we don't need to. We're going to do a G1. And we're going to go to Z of zero. So now our tool has come down to this point. Now we fed over to Z zero there. And it's done that at 15 thousandths per revolution. The next line is going to go up to the beginning here. Now all these radiuses on this are a radius of 0.1. So if this diameter of this is 1.5, so to stop here, I'm going to be a hundred thousandths away from it on both sides of the diameter. So 1.5 minus 200 thousandths is going to be 1.3. So I'm going to go to X of 1.3. Okay. And that's still in a geo one mode. Now my next lines, are gonna be right here. And my next move is gonna be a GO3, counterclockwise move. I'm going to go to X of 1.5 and Z of negative 0.1 with a radius of 0.1. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna come up to this point right here. Now it's gonna do that arc to right here. Okay, that's what that does. Now I have another straight line move to right there. So that's a G1 move, or G1 meaning a lateral move. Then I'm gonna go to Z of negative one point. Then I'm gonna go to X, so that takes me right here, then I'm gonna go to right here. Looking at my blueprint, that's 2.5 minus 200 thousandths which is 100 on this side and 100 on the back side, so 2.5 to 2.3. So I'm gonna to go to 2.3. Then I'm gonna to go to GO3 again. I'm gonna to go to X of 2.5 and Z of negative point 
1.1. Then I'm going to do another geo 1. I'm going to go to x, you know, uh, I'm already at x of 2.5. Now I'm going to go to z of negative 2, 2.0. And then I'm going to go to W, or not W, I'm sorry. I'm going to go to X of 2.8. Then I'm going to do a GL3 again. Now, do I need to put a GL1 on this line? I don't. It's modal. But you can if you want to, just to remind you that it, we're in a linear movement. Then I'm going to go to a GL3, my X. And on this GL3, I forgot to put a R of 0.1. And now I'm going to go to X of 3.0 and a Z of negative 2.1 with a radius of 0.1. And then I'm going to do a GO or G1 to Z negative 3.0. And that gets me to my end of my part. So I've gone from here to here to there to there to there to there to there. And now I'm going to go to right there, which is my Z, negative 3. I'm going to also do my X, let's say, to 3.1. And I'm going to put a G40 in there for cutter comp. And I forgot one thing right here. When we go to cutter comp right here on this G, I want to cutter comp to the right which is a G42. Then I'm going to send everything home, which is a G28, U0, W0, and then end of the program, M30. Percent symbol, sends it back to the beginning. That will run our whole program. There you go.